The hacker group Fancy Bears has leaked its fourth batch of the World Anti-Doping Agency's drug test results for some of the world's top sports stars. WADA's medical data names a number of athletes indeed who are permitted to take banned substances. So let's talk about this further with Nadira Tudor. She's got the details. She's been across this report. What's come out then? Well, it is interesting. So four leaks, as you mentioned, that have been revealed so far, uh, revealing drugs taken by competing athletes legally as approved by WADA. Mm. Now, the first leak was revealed on the 13th, and then every two days subsequently, with the last being on the 19th of September. And the reason that it's made the headlines is that they have named huge sports icons who have, uh, you know, lists of achievement. Um, just to explain, all the named athletes have gone through very strict procedures to gain exemption from drugs that are normally banned. And uh, they must have had a medical reason uh, mm. making it necessary for them to take these drugs. So they've been issued what is called a TUE form or a therapeutic use exemption form, uh, which WADA approves under very strict guidelines. Now, the first of the three leaks mentioned names like Serena Williams, mm. Venus Williams, Simone Biles. And two of the biggest names that have been mentioned in the last leak are Rafael Nadal and uh, Mo Farah. So oh, right. you can imagine why it's gone a bit crazy in the media. Now, if we look at Rafael Nadal first, he's Spain's uh, universally known as one of the biggest tennis uh, legends of all time. He's won every major tennis Grand Slam, including nine French Open titles, as well as the men's singles gold at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. He's won 14 Grand Slam single titles, um, 28 titles in ATP World Tour Masters 1000 events, and 17 ATP World Tour 500 tournaments. So, as you can imagine, the list for him is mm. absolutely endless. Now, he's been issued two certificates in the past, two of these TUE certificates. One uh, in 2009, where he was allowed to use a banned drug called betamethasone. Mm. And then the second was in 2012, where he received clearance to use um, corticotrophins. Now, he's been quoted as saying, and I'll just read this to you, there are many things day to day are banned st substances, but when you ask permission and you get it, mm. it stops being illegal. I have taken anything to improve my sport. I haven't taken anything to improve my sporting performance. Simply, the doctors told me to take something to improve it's my real knee. Grey air, isn't it? What, what about Mo Farrow? Well, Mo Farah, again, you know, hugely the most successful British track athlete in modern Olympic Games history. Um, in, in 2012, he won, and in 2016, uh, in both the Olympic gold medalists, in 5,000 metres and 10,000 metres. He's the second man in history to win long-distance doubles at successive Olympics and World Championships, um, and the first in history to do a quadruple double. So, you know, Farah, he received um, a therapeutic use exemption certificate form to take a drug called triamcinolone, uh, I'll say that again, <laughs> triamcinolone, and then in 2014 he was given permission to use three separate prohibited substances, um, including one by intravenous uh, injection. But my question is, okay, this data has been released, but if they were legitimately given certificates to take this for medical reasons or whatever, what's, what's the problem, what's the controversy about this leak? Well, that, the controversy, unfortunately, is because they're such huge names, of course, mm. and the names are now in the public domain um, by the hackers who are still uh, remain anonymous so no one knows who their identity is and the fact that they've been able to take drugs that are banned by other athlete athletes who can't fill in this form I suppose um, has raised a few concerns yeah, amongst those athletes not a level playing field not a level f for some of them and according to some of them they've said that this is double standards now in particular we have Marco Henrik the German triathlete and extreme swimmer has spoken out and so has Jamie Bolsch a British athlete they have both aired their views which we can ha have a listen to now I believe this is not fair. There should be a clear course for the athletes. They should be told there are substances they are allowed to take and there are substances they are not allowed to take. Anything in between just results in confusion and discontent. This is not good. No matter how big the issue of doping is, every country more or less has had to deal with it. When it comes to Russia, it's very political. It's aimed at excluding Russian athletes. The, the, the trouble with um, sport in this day and age is so much money in it. Um, and I, I feel personally that some people
people are getting far more protected than others. Um, and uh, it's a real big shame for world sport right now. And um, people like myself who've been a, a sports person at the top of the tree, winning world championships and getting Olympic medals, etc. You know, it's very sad to see. Um, you know, I would love to see one day that we are all on an equal playing field. So as you can see, some athletes feel that it's breaking sporting integrity by allowing these athletes to compete whilst taking these drugs. Yeah, Very really controversial. Con really confusing picture too, isn't it, Dira? Thanks for the update there.